Hello, this is Justin Fischetti. Today I'm going to go over with you everything you need to know about determining start and end times. So for instance, if you know how long activity takes and what time it begins, then what time will that activity end? And also vice versa, if you know what time activity ends and how long it will it'll take, then what time will that activity did that did that activity begin? Now to review just a couple of quick things that uh, you really just need to know before going into this. I'm sure you already know pretty much all of this anyway. So 60 minutes is equal to one hour or 24 hours in a day. But once you go from uh, tw in the clock, in terms of the clock, once you go from 12.59, add one minute, it'll go straight to one rather than going straight to, to 13, unless you're doing military time, which is what we're not doing. And if it's a, and if it's, when it goes from 11, say 11 and add an hour to go to 12, then it, it also changes the sign. So it would start at, um, say if you go from 11 a.m. and add an hour, it'll be 12 p.m. And also vice versa, if you start at 11 p.m. and add an hour, it'll be at 12 a.m. midnight. And of course, the day starts at 12 a.m. midnight, and middle of the day is 12 p.m. noon. So now that that reviews out, we'll, we'll erase this, and we will start. First, we'll go over a couple. Just a couple of simple elapsed time problems before going into the word once. So here, find the elapsed time. Start time's at 12.30 a.m. and time is at 6 a.m. So if you add, so if you add enough hours to go to, ch to change, if you add enough hours to match the hour symbol, it'd be four hours, 12 to six, but there's, a, but starts 30 minutes inward. So you subtract 30 minutes. So you would change the hour back down to three and it would be 30, so three hours, 30 minutes. This one's actually even more simple. It's 10, 15, 7, 30. So just, it's just 15 minutes of subtracted minutes here. Oh no, I reached the limit. Well, 445 a.m. to 5.15 p.m. Well, if it was kind of similar to the first problem, it's you have had an hour and be 5.45 a.m., but it, but it starts 45 minutes and ends 15 minutes, and so it looks like it's 30 minute difference. So let's so subtract that there, it'll be 30 minutes. Well, we don't have any more practice here, but now we're gonna go just to the work problems. Now we'll get this, so take so a our work. All right, so Monica made oatmeal cookies to take to a party. It took her one hour to make the dough and one hour and 30 minutes to bake all the cookies. It was 2.30 p.m. when Monica finally took the last batch of cookies out of the oven. What time was it when Monica started making the cookies? So this is a problem where it looks like took the cookies out at 2.30 p.m. So for one of the ones you put it, this is one where we know the end time of the activity. One know when the activity began. So 2.30 p.m. is what, what it ended. And now what by beginning. So it took one hour and 30 minutes to bake all cookies. So, so, so we're subtracting time here. That'll be back, back to 1 p.m. And it also took, now to make the dose, that'll be another hour we're subtracting. So it'll be 12 p.m. So it looks like, and that's an option here. So it looks like we're gonna choose, we'll clear this and we'll choose 12 p.m. and see if that's right. And it seems like that is correct. You know, it looks like it's also daily practice a bit here, but we can still, we can still solve out this problem though. So Allie and her friends went to Bouvier on Thursday afternoon. It took 30 minutes to drive to the theater. They arrived at the theater 30 minutes before the movie began, before the movie started. Once it started, the movie lasts for two, two hours and ended at 3.30 p.m. What time did Allie and her friends leave for the movies? So this is another one where we know what time the activity ended and we want to find what time did it begin. 
But for three p.m. is the is the end time. So it's always good to like kind of like work backwards. And, and since we know, since we're doing it, it's good to like see. Basically, it's good to see like how all the times here for all these for all parts of these activities. And if you if you know the the end time, or find to be the beginning time. It's good to kind of like work backwards from here. And if you know the beginning time, try to find the end time. That's good to work forwards. But this is the one where you know the end time. Find so let's work backwards here. We lasted for two hours, so that's one. So that's a two hours to subtract there will be 1 30 p.m. They arrived at, and they arrived a few 30 minutes before it started. So the, it was 1 p.m. at that time. And it took 30 minutes to drive to the feeder. So that'd be um another 30 minutes for extract. So that'd be 12 30 p.m. Right. And that would be the answer. Although we can type in confirm and like guarantee that that is the answer until 30 p.m. Let's refresh the page and find another example. Okay, so Katie's class took a field trip to Science Museum. It took them 30 minutes to drive to the museum. They stayed at the museum for 30 minutes. It took them 30 minutes to drive back to school. When the class arrived back to school, it was 9 a.m. What time did Katie's class leave for a field trip? So it looks like this is a third straight problem where uh, it's in you know, the end time or find the beginning time. Hopefully after this, we'll definitely, I'll definitely try to, after this, I'll definitely try to find one more. We know the beginning time, trying to find the end time, but just go over this one real quick. 9 a.m. when they got back to school, we're gonna work backwards here. So it took them 30 minutes to drive back to school, to be 8.30. A.M. Then they stay in the museum for 30 minutes. That's eight. And then um, I took the Mr. Drive Museum in the first place. So that'd be 7 30 a.m. Looks like that's gonna be their the time they left. Okay, well we're now I'm gonna definitely try to find more work. We know the beginning time, try to find the end time. Okay, it looks like this is uh okay. I looked at this first. It looks like this this is what we know the beginning time, trying to find the end time. So he, he got so this is for after school activities, and he got out of school at 3 p.m. originally. That's the beginning time. Beginning, oh, pretty big beginning. So it's good. So I guess what, so now what, uh, Frederick, we read from beginning, act, from the beginning activity times to the, uh, to the ending activity times now, we'll just, like in chronological, more chronological order now, rather than backwards chronological order, now that the beginning time. So he has a science club meeting for one hour. So we can add an hour to that. Followed by choir rehearsal that lasts for two hours so that we can add two hours to this. So it looks like the choir rehearsal, which is the final act activity here. That's why it's good to go from chronological order here because that because here's it where it works better out for this problem by going full by going forwards in the sentence order. So it's like the uh, choir rehearsal ended at 6 p.m. As I would right here, I get up here. We'll go over one more example. Okay, good. This is another one where we know the start time. We're trying to find the end time of all the activities. So you have 9.30 a.m. Tony Sox tracks are at 9.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. The team practice dribbling for 30 minutes and practice shooting for one hour. Then they play a scrimmage game for 30 minutes before practice ended. What time was it when Tony Sox to practice ended? So we'll start, the first activity was 
the practice was practicing dribbling. So again, for 30 minutes, so at 30 minutes, this will be 10 a.m. Practice shooting for one hour. So again, another hour will be 11 a.m. And finally, they scrimmage, play the scrimmage games for 30 minutes before practice ended. That's final activity. Well, 30 minutes is, we'll make this 11.30 a.m. And because that's the, the final activity here, the, the time when the, his practice ended would be 11.30 a.m. Okay, that's pretty much how it goes in terms of uh, start and end times. Again, just like all I really know, need to know is that, re is that review of how uh, it goes from 12.59 to straight to one, and also how does sign ch change from a.m. to p.m. between 11 to 12 or, or p.m. to a.m. And then you, once you know, you pretty much can solve these by Reading the con see the context of the problem. So there's notes, so you know if you're finding like a if you see if you know the start time trying to find the end time, or if you know the end time trying to find the start time. And if you're trying to find the end time, you know, start time trying to find the end time, it's good to read this in kind of like this in chronological, like did here in chronological order from start to finish to start with the first activity times. And then finally the, the last uh, activity add the time it took to do that last party activity. And the opposite, if you, if you know the end time, trying to find a start time, look later into the sentence and then kind of like read backwards, see how long actually took and then to subtract time from the end time. That's for that's pretty much all. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Thank you.